my dear students, welcome to Science Then Lesson, Quarter 2, Module 1, and you will learn about the different regions of electromagnetic spectrum. For our most essential learning competencies, number 1, describe the different electromagnetic waves in the electromagnetic spectrum, and Compare the relative wavelengths of different forms of electromagnetic waves. Learners, let's begin! We will commence with the review time. Have your pen, paper, and module ready. In your grade 8, you have learned that waves is a traveling disturbance that propagates through space and is capable of transferring energy. To recall the important lessons about waves, let us try this. All you have to do is to identify the different parts of the wave using the words listed below. Learners, you have 10 seconds to do this. Let's start! Let us now check if you get all the correct answers. The first one is Wavelength Correct It is the distance between two successive crests or troughs of the wave. Next is Crest Represents the highest point of the wave. The third one is Amplitude That is the distance from the line of origin to the crest or trough of the wave. Then, the equilibrium position, represented by the horizontal line in the middle of the wave. And finally, we have trough, the lowest point of the wave. Good job, learners! Let us now proceed to the next activity. To start the new lesson, let us try 4 picks 1 word. Learners, you will just guess the specific word using the photos. If your answer is wave, you get it right. Wow. Waves can be classified as mechanical waves and electromagnetic waves. Mechanical waves are disturbance in a medium. Examples are water waves, sound waves, stadium waves, and seismic waves. While Electromagnetic waves are disturbance in a field. Now, what is electromagnetic spectrum? It is a continuum of electromagnetic waves arranged according to frequency and wavelength. The figure shows the electromagnetic spectrum. It consists of the wavelengths of the different electromagnetic waves, the visible spectrum, and the frequency of the different EM waves. Learners, let's try to answer this short activity. Question number one, which wave has longer wavelength, A or B? The correct answer is letter A. A has longer wavelength. Next, which wave has higher frequency? A or B? The right answer is letter B. B has higher frequency. Let us know the electromagnetic waves. We are surrounded with thousands of waves. Waves collide with our bodies and some pass through us. Most of these waves are invisible but we can perceive some. The warmth of the sun and the light that we see are just a few of them. 
These waves share similar characteristics, yet they are unique in some ways. These waves are called electromagnetic waves. We will now proceed to the different types of electromagnetic waves. The first type of electromagnetic wave is the radio waves. It has a lowest frequency and longest wavelength that makes it suitable for telecommunication. It has a frequency of 3 Hz to 300 Hz. Now, what is Hz? Hertz is a number of cycle per second. It means that the frequency of radio waves per second is from 3 Hertz to 300 Hertz. James Clerk Maxwell who made the first prediction about radio waves but it was Heinrich Hertz who showed that radio waves can be produced and transmitted. The next type is microwaves. It has a frequency higher than the frequency of radio waves. Ranges from 300 megahertz to 300 gigahertz. Megahertz is 1 million cycles per second, while gigahertz refers to 1 billion hertz. The prefix micro in microwaves signifies that it has a micrometer wavelength compared to traditional radio waves. The third type is the infrared. It has a frequency higher than microwave and lower than visible light. Infrared radiation is also called heat radiation so it can be detected using a thermometer. It was discovered by the scientist Frederick William Herschel. He noticed that there is an increase of temperature in the thermometer beyond the red part of the spectrum when he is trying to measure the air temperature, and that is the infrared. Next is visible light. It is the only EM waves that is visible to unaided eyes. It lies between infrared and ultraviolet rays. When visible light strike on a prism, the white light will split into different colors such as red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Then, the ultraviolet rays. It is also known as UV rays or UV radiation. Too much exposure to sunlight may cause sunburn. It has a frequency higher than the frequency of visible light and lower than the frequency of X-rays. Ultraviolet means beyond violet. Ultra came from the Latin word beyond and violet is the visible light that contains highest frequency and that is the ultraviolet rays. The sixth type of EM wave is X-rays has a frequency lies between 30 petahertz or 3 times 1016 hertz and 30 exahertz or 3 times 1019 hertz. It has second to the highest frequency, therefore it contains higher energy than the ultraviolet rays. It has the ability to penetrate opaque materials. It can pass through soft tissues but can filtered by dense materials like the bone. The last type of EM wave is gamma rays. It has a frequency higher than 30 exahertz or higher than 3 times 1019 hertz. It is the most energetic electromagnetic wave in the spectrum for it has the highest frequency and shortest wavelength. Due to its high energy, gamma rays may harm human beings and environment. And that is the gamma rays. Here's the enrichment activity followed by the assessment for you to strengthen the basic concept of electromagnetic waves. The direction goes like this. Arrange the electromagnetic waves starting from the highest energy by writing letters from A to G. 
learners, I will give you 10 seconds to do this. Let's start! Let's check if you get all the correct answers. Letter A would be Gamma rays, correct? Letter B X-rays, that's nice! The third one is Ultraviolet rays Letter D would be Visible light E Infrared Letter F Microwaves And finally Letter G Radio waves Very good learners! Let us now proceed with the assessment. The assessment is divided into two parts. Letter A, write the name of the correct electromagnetic wave corresponding to the letters on the picture. Let us now check learners. Letter A, Radio waves, correct. Letter B, microwaves. Letter C, infrared. Letter D, visible light. The fifth one is ultraviolet rays. Letter F, X rays. And finally, gamma rays. That's nice, learners. For the second part of our assessment, letter B, answer the following questions using the picture below. Number 8. What letter shows the lowest frequency? Kindly choose from A to G. Correct. Letter A. Number 9. What letter shows the shortest wavelength? Choose from A to G. Very good! Letter G is the shortest wavelength. And for number 10, what letter shows the electromagnetic wave with the highest energy? Well done, learners! Letter G is the highest energy. Great job, learners! That signifies that you understood the lesson well. Are you now ready to summarize? For the summary of today's topic, we have discussed the electromagnetic spectrum, electromagnetic waves, types of electromagnetic waves, which comprises of radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, x-rays, and finally, gamma rays. Thank you very much! I hope you learned a lot for today's topic. Always remember, science matters. Good day!